Hello everyone. Now in this exercise 6.6 .6, we'll be doing the division of the decimals. In the division of the decimals this table is given to you in the book and you have to do this first question in the book. Okay. Now how you are going to do this? In multiplication what we used to do? We used to add it. Right? When multiplication was there we used to count the number of digits after the decimal and we used to write like this and as many digits were there like here was 1 and here was 1 in multiplication we used to add it but now in division we are going to subtract it everything will remain same okay in this now in question number 1 4.3 is the number in a part 4.3 is the number you have to divide this number firstly with 10 then by 100 and then by 1000 and you have to tell what will be the answer now when multiplication we used to do for example 1.65 you used to multiply with 10 this will come forward one place because here one digit one zero was there one zero means decimal will shift one digit ahead in division what you will do this decimal will go one digit back now if this is 4.3 you have to divide by 10 one zero is there that means this decimal is going to move one digit back so this will become this decimal will come here and now this will become 0 0.43 okay now again 4.3 you have to divide by 100 100 you have to divide write this 43 as it is without the decimal now here are two zeros this means this decimal is going to move back two digits but here is only one digit one Two and then decimal so this will become 0 0.043 right so here will come 0 0.043 now the same 4.3 you have to divide by 1000 now I will write this 43 as it is now after the decimal sorry before the decimal 1 2 and 3 because here are how many zeros 3 so 1 2 3 and then decimal so the here answer will come 0 0.0043 that's how you have to solve this question number one in the book this question you will do in the book first part i have explained you now i'll be explaining you b part and rest of the parts you will be doing it by yourself now in the b part 12.65 now you have to divide with 10 10 means one zero so this decimal is going to shift back one digit it will become 1.265 if you have to divide by 100 this decimal is going to shift two places back one two and then decimal so this means 0 0.1265 next is divide by 1000 1265 you will write as it is but this decimal is going to move back three digits so this will become one 2, 3, for third digit we are not having the third digit so we are going to place 0 and then we are going to place the decimal digit and then 0, okay, C part, again C part or yes, let me do C part for you, rest you will do by yourself now, 35.91 you have to divide firstly with 10, that means 1 digit, so this decimal is going to move back 1 digit, this will become 3.59, one now you have to divide this by 100 400 100 means two zeros and for two zeros means this decimal is going to go back two digits so it will become decimal will come here so this will become 0 0.3591 and when you have to divide by thousand this decimal is going to go back three digits one two three that means one zero is also included and then the decimal will come Okay, so this will become 0 0.03591. Three parts I have explained you. Rest three parts you will do by yourself in the book. So this question number one you are going to do in the book. Now let's move to question number two. Question number two is also same. Like 184.6 you have to divide by 100. Now you can see two zeros are there. That means this decimal is going to move back two digits. Because two zeros are there. So this will become... 1.846 next 
four eight nine point three you have to divide by ten thousand and in ten thousand four zeros are there this means this decimal is going to shift back how many digits four digits one two three fourth digit we are not having so we are going to place zero so we have placed here zero and then decimal and then zero okay so this will become zero point zero four eight nine three next question c part 5821 you have to divide by 1000 9000 how many zeros are there three zeros are there so and here no decimal is there so that means you are going to start from here 1 2 3 and then decimal so you are going to place here decimal d part 2156.94 you have to divide by 1 lakh and 1 lakh five zeros are there so this decimal is going to move back five places back 1 Two, three, four, and fifth digit we are not having, so we are going to place there zero, and then decimal. Okay, so this was your question number two. This you will do in the notebook. Now let us start with question number three. Now what you will do in question number three? In question number three, you have to divide the numbers which are already in decimals. Okay, so how you will divide? Let us see. Eighty point five two. You have to divide by zero point four. So for this, what you will do, you have to the very first step is that you have to ignore the decimals. Here it will be eight zero five two, and here zero point four is there. I said we have to remove the decimal or we have to ignore the decimal. So it will become zero four, and zero four means four. As many zeros I will place before four, it will be of no use. It will have no value. So zero four means Four, so I am going to divide this eight zero five two by four. Four to the eight. Zero carried down. Five carried down. Four ones are four. Four threes are twelve. So now, when I took this without the decimals, my answer came two zero one three. Now, divide by zero point four. It is two zero one three. now you can clearly see that in the question decimals are there but in the answer we have to place the decimal what you will do after the decimal here are how many digits two digits after the decimal how many digits are there one digit and there is a sign of divide now since the sign of divide is there that means i am going to subtract it what is 2 minus 1 1 that means from the back before one digit i am going to place the decimal and this is your answer that's how you are going to do all the questions of division when we have to divide two decimal numbers together this is the method of solving it okay you can see the solution here now let us do b part now in this b part again what you have to do ignore the decimals and then divide 10976 by 7 when you will divide it 1568 answer will come So now, on dividing these two, one five six eight answer will come, but without the decimal till now. Now we have to place the decimal. After decimal, how many digits are there? Two. After the decimal, how many digits are there? One. And we have to divide. So now we are going to subtract these two. What is two minus one? One. So that means from the back side, before one digit, we are going to place the decimal, and this is your answer. This C part you are going to try by yourself. Next, now D part. In this D part, it is given zero point zero five six. You have to divide by zero point eight. Zero point zero five six. You have to divide by zero point zero eight. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of this? I said we have to remove the decimal. Removed zero zero five six. And what is the meaning of this zero zero five six? Five six because before fifty six zero has no value. Now here is zero point zero eight. This means zero zero eight, and this zero zero eight means eight. So I have to divide fifty six by eight. Eight seven zero fifty six. So this means when I will divide them without the decimal, answer will come seven. But now I have to place the decimal. And how I am going to place the decimal? After decimal, three digits are there. After the decimal, two digits are there, and we have to divide. What is three minus two? One. 
so that means before one digit i am going to place the decimal this is one digit just place the decimal and answer is 0 0.7 and this is your d part okay now e part most important e part is you have to divide 0 0.006 by 0 0.12 now in this if you will see again we are going to remove the decimals it will become 0, 0, 0, 6. and this means 6 you have to divide by 12 6 you have to divide by 12 but this line does not means that 12 will come in the dividend and 6 will be the divisor no this means you have to divide 6 by 12 whatever number is after the sign of divide that will always be the divisor now let us divide it now 6 is less than 12 so I am going to place here 0. Now I am going to put here 0 by my choice and if I am putting here 0 decimal will come here. And now 12 5s are 60. So now I am going to cancel it. When I am going to solve this what answer came 0 0.5. 0 0.5 but I solve this complete without the decimal. That is a different point that I have got the answer in decimal. But still, I have to use it. I have to use the decimals here now. After decimal, how many digits are there? 3. After decimal, how many digits are there? 2. That means 1. That is equals to 1. So, this means, if I am going to subtract it, what will come? 1. This means, this decimal is going to shift back 1 place. And the answer will come 0 0.05. This is the answer. And you can see the solution also here. F part you will try by yourself. And this is your exercise 6.6. .6. Complete this in your notebooks. Thank you.